Now, here's a conundrum. Sex or food? It's a, a basic choice that confronts much of nature every day. And if we can understand why a simple animal like a, a fruit fly, for example, makes the choices it does, then that would give us clues as to why human brains work the way they do too. And scientists at the University of Birmingham have been doing experiments to look at just this question. Our science correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, is here. So, David, what do fruit flies want out of life? Sex or food? So, it uh, basically turns out when they get hungry enough, they will prioritise food over sex. But the question is, why do they make that decision? What's going on inside their fruit fly brains? Now, we've got some videotape uh, of the actual experiment the scientists took. This is a sexy lady fruit fly at the top of the photo there. And there's a male fruit fly at the bottom. Now, this fruit fly has actually eaten. He's had some of that blue blob. That is a sugar solution. He's now approaching the lady fruit fly. He will begin courtship shortly. And I think we'd better draw a veil over what's going to happen next. But the scientists aren't just looking at what's going on in a petri with the flies. They're actually looking at what's going on inside their heads with their brain cells, their neurons, and finding out how they are helping the fruit flies make this decision. For example, uh, what we did was we presented the flies with a drop of sugar, and we see that, yes, these feeding-promoting neurons, they light up when you feed them, and vice versa, you have a group of neurons which induce courtship. And uh, so when you give them food, these neurons get inhibited. So the food neurons in the brain win out over the sex neurons. And basically, after about 15 hours of not eating anything, that's the tipping point. That's when the fruit fly becomes more interested in food than sex. And are scientists really saying that we can learn more about our brains by looking at the brains of a tiny little fly? Well, you have 86 billion neurons oh, inside your brain. That. Yes, that's a lot of neurons. A fruit fly has about 100,000. So it is a much simpler organism, but a simple organism can still teach us a lot. They have less neurons, but they're still very complex and they control complex behaviors such as learning and memory. So with a simpler brain, we can understand very, very complex uh, neural processes in the brain and learn some rules for how the brain works that might help us understand more complex brains. So if we can understand more about how the fruit fly makes its decisions, that does help us understand our own brains. And then eventually one day we can understand not just a healthy human brain, but also brains that have difficulties making decisions. For example, brains, uh, people with Alzheimer's, it might open up more insight into that disease. So it's a simple little insect making a simple choice between food or sex, but it does help us understand some complex questions. That's fascinating. David, thank you.